Welcome. This is a review of the Diamond Select Enterprise E. This is the Nemesis version, um, unless I am gravely mistaken. But also, and this is the best version. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I also have the. I'm not sure if it's the original version, but it is certainly one of the one of the earlier versions and possible or possibly reissues um, of the first contact version of the Enterprise. Um, lots of differences here. Um, the paint job, the, the the colors. This one is very yellow. It's not looking particularly yellow on camera to me, but this is very creamish color. This is a, a much whiter, light gray, off white. Um, I mean, you can see the decos are way different, especially in the saucer area. I mean, this one's got gorgeous detailed Aztecing down here on the on the tail or whatever the engineering hull this just has big swatches of gray um, it is the same mold you'll notice maybe that there are a lot of windows painted in here I did those myself actually they are all sculpted in um, but just to make this one try to improve its look a little bit I, I went in and filled them in with a Gundam mar panel line marker um, anyway L just lots of de more detail in the paint what am I trying to do here? Um, there we go. Look at the saucers a little better. You know, huge difference in the paint jobs here. I, I, I prefer the Nemesis one a lot more, even though First Contact is a much better movie. Uh, but that's not relevant, is it? Um, maybe if we swivel them around. Okay, well, there's the problem we're going to talk about later. So, the, you know, just little things like the red outline on the registry here is very heavy. It's very, very light in there. I don't even know if you can see it. I don't even know that it's there in person, or unless I look closely, it just, it just. I think it just helps it look sharp. Um, even these, these, uh, this looks like it's not painted, but that is actually some beigeish or. It's just a couple of tones off from the plastic color itself, but it is paint there, these lighter sections that I put my hand in front of. Um, anyway, I just I really, really dig the deco that they did for this first contact version. Sorry, this Nemesis version. Let's see if I can get it right. Whoop. It's like I don't remember how to operate my camera. And there we go. Okay. So... They have the same sounds. Engage. Engage. But let's uh, lessen the light a little bit here. Let's, how do I do this? A lighting, a gaffer I am not. Um, <clears throat> so this is really old. These are not LEDs. These are rice bulbs. I'm not entirely sure what that even means, except that they're not nearly as bright. And also, they didn't have lights and then a cells other than the buzzard collectors, I think. Buzzard? I don't remember. Something like that. Uh, but on, on, the, on the Nemesis version, they put LEDs all back through... All back through the nacelles, which is why I bought something I already had. Aside from the different paint job, and I'm, you know, I'm OCD and... Oh... So his Picard's voice, <laughs> Picard's voice, sounds a little on the low side, just ever so slightly down pitched. Not bad though. Um, not enough to worry about for sure. But it does sound just a little off. Know, it's not a big deal. The Enterprise E is my favorite version of the Enterprise. It is just such a sleek looking ship. Damn this fucking stand! Um, anyway, I just I like the 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 sleek lines that it has. That it's comparatively short, you know, from the these points. Whereas on the older style Enterprise, for example, 
there's a huge vertical distance, relatively speaking, from the bridge to the bottom of the engineering hall. I just this one looks so much more sleek. Is the word I keep using, and I think that's why the uh, Enterprise B is a close second as far as my designs. It just it kind of maintains or has similar, uh, just long, sleek look to it. Just realized I didn't put my lights back on them. Whoa! Adjust, adjust. There we go. It's not too bad. Um, other than that, you know, they're not particularly similar, but I don't know, there's something similar about them that that make them my more favorite designs. Uh, let's compare it, of course, since it's Picard's Enterprise, let's compare it to the Enterprise D, which is also pretty sleek looking, but in a different way. My camera is not nearly, no, my camera, my setup for this is not nearly enough to I'm going to have to review some small scale ships so you can compare the two designs if you really want to. Um, they're not in scale, I don't think. I, it's been a long time since I've looked up this sort of thing, but I seem to think that the saucers are actually the same size. They're just, you know, oriented differently. So I think this one should actually be quite a bit longer than the, than the D. Uh, but don't quote me on that because it's been a really long time since I looked at that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to do more with this comparison. The D is, I don't know how, what to, how to, how to explain it, but yeah, anyway, just the way they look differently. Because I think the E should be quite a bit longer than the D. But again, could be mistaken. Um, it is definitely worth making sure that if you were to buy an E that you get either the Nemesis version or I think that they they did eventually modify or reissue this with the with the first contact paint job. I could be mistaken because I haven't really kept up on track collectibles in a while. Um, you know, it's either dusty or has a little bit of white paint in there that's marring the blackness there, but check out this paint job. It's gorgeous. It's got the little pendants here, the registry, NCC 1701E, USS Enterprise. Uh, this is the very first version edition of the Enterprise E, sorry, of the Nemesis E. So it features everybody's favorite uh, copyright and trademark stamps and another one there. People bitched and moaned when this came out. Honestly, I almost never even notice it. You can take it off with something like acetone or... Uh, it seems like there were tricky ways people came up with on how to remove it. I don't remember how. I didn't... It didn't bother me enough that I even remember how people did it. Um, I have heard more recent reissues of it have taken care of that. Look at all the detail on this ship. Uh, the deflector dish lights up, the cells light up, the impulse engines light up although they're a little bit harder to see. There we go. Um, I believe this ship does not have a lights on fun feature. <clears throat> what it does have is a cycle through all of the sounds feature. And the excuse was that's how the original first contact one does was, and it was too expensive or time consuming to reprogram it or whatever they would need to do to give it a lights on feature as opposed to Ready phases and quantum cycle sounds. Fire all weapons. Um, You'll see here, mine has a slight problem where the socket for the stand, it didn't glue in very well, I guess, so it actually likes to just pop off and stay in the... on the stand, I think. It's supposed to... yeah, it looks like it's smashed. Like, it's supposed to have been heat glued in place, but the connection on mine didn't stay. Um, and as you can see, the stand <clears throat> is the same as the old one. It's the... Uh, the later style communicator. 
the, the two struts, which is nice and secure, um, keeping it from wobbling too much. But <clears throat> it does not clip in worth a damn. It's got two little hooks. Is that even in frame? It's got two little bits on the end. They peg in. And then it just rests it. Son of a bitch. But it doesn't click in or anything, so it just wobbles. <clears throat> Why do they make such beautiful ships? Spend a lot of work on, on the paint. And just look at all of the complex aztec -ing. There's two or three different colors of paint here being layered on top of each other. And all of these little... This thing actually has a lot of paint. And then they give it this shitty, flimsy stand. What the hell? <clears throat> so I really need to go buy one of those acrylic stands from... Uh, I can't remember their name. But they have a, their own website where they sell the, their acrylic stands or... They sell them on eBay too. Just beautiful custom acrylic stands. Four Diamond Select ships. They, they're all etched with the ship and the registry. And I think they're launch date too. Because, you know, nerds on the internet. <clears throat> um, anyway. What else should I say about this? I love the Enterprise E, so I highly recommend this ship. Just the stand is a piece of garbage. Um... And if you get one of the later ones, it won't have the copyright symbol on the or copyright text on the bottom of the the cells there that annoys people. And uh, yeah, so there's that. Thanks for watching. Okay.